today we're going to see if we can fix the handle on that cub cadet mower so you guys are interested stay tuned let's start turning some wrenches Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is John and my friends call me Turn Wrenches 85 here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing good so far today. And you guys saw in that last video, uh, we, you know, we got it running. You know, unfortunately I had to spend some money on a gas tank for uh, the mower. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is what it is in the name of the game of the small engine world there. So, um, if you guys haven't seen the verse video yet, uh, should be a link above my head here. Uh, like a little card thing uh, maybe I'll put a, a link uh, uh, in one of the pinned comments on there and we'll see what uh, you guys can check that video out there uh, how we got that one running it's a little lengthy I tried to shorten it as best I could I'm sorry I'm trying to work on these videos better also I'm trying another camera out I uh, bought off the Facebook marketplace uh, we're gonna see if this works any better uh, picture quality wise uh, if you guys are liking it, then I'll go with it uh, forward. Um, I got it cheap, not bad. There's some uh, one little issue with it, but I mean, uh, it's not nothing that affects the quality of the video right now. You guys are watching, so hopefully. Uh, but anyway, let me show you guys this real close. Here we go. You guys remember? Uh, we're gonna check out the spaghetti, and I didn't want to open up the can of worms on it, so we're gonna try to see how bad this is if the welds broke um you guys are going to probably see me weld i haven't never done it uh, uh personally where you guys can see it yet because i've been practicing so hopefully enough we can uh get this fixed there like i said this is how bad it looks i'll get you guys closer here They, they used everything they used all kind of zip ties and stuff on this bad boy didn't they and of course right there as well there so like i said you guys tell me how good, good you guys like this camera and then maybe i'll tell you guys what it what it is some of you guys might figure it out some of you might not but i'm gonna keep it a secret right now because i want to see you guys how you guys like it there so anyway that's what it looks like there so um yeah I'm not looking forward to opening up this can of worms, but uh, we're going to have to in order to fix it. So uh, let's get to it. All right, let's open up this can of worms. Uh, I was kind of dreading this. I put a clothes clamp on here. I guess they got ingenious about it. Uh, let's get, let's get that. It's funny, the hose clamp is not doing anything. pretty bad the hose clamp didn't even do anything to it it came out of there I guess you can use that again I don't know I don't really care honestly let's get the millions of zip ties off here let's see what we got on it there sorry my neighbor was talking to me I had to do some work over there at her house I mean she's getting ready to move but I had to get some wood stuff cleaned up over there at her house yesterday when I was off work there so uh, she paid me for that so I made some money for doing that a hundred extra dollars in my pocket that's for sure so I'm good with that so I'm not arguing one bit today there so like I said I think I know what happened to this I put some duct tape. I guess duct tape fixes everything, doesn't it? Good Lord of mercy. Oh! They spared no exempt, uh, expense on the zip ties. I can keep them. The side cutters are getting a workout today. That's for sure. Let's 
looks like it what I think it is should have brought my knife out here next best thing it's kind of thick on there anyway so my did break in the weld. Hmm. I'll show you guys. Hold on. Let's see where it broke. And they tried to plate it. And I give them that credit. They tried to try to fix it. So I'm gonna try to put a rod there to try to brace it. I got a free rod. I wonder if I can tack weld that and fix it. Okay, so this is what we're looking at here. Let me get you guys off the perch. Okay, this is what we're looking at right here. We're looking at that spot right there that needs to be welded. There, so... I mean, the rest of it, maybe I can bend it out and fix it. Uh, we can try uh, That's all we can do. So let's try I'm gonna take this hand well, maybe I can do it without the handle being on there, but we're gonna do some straightening it out. So let me uh, Get some tools together and we're gonna try to straighten that out best way we can so I'll bring you guys back Okay, see so look at all the, the little clips and all that came off of that thing uh, Okay, well anyway it's uh got it off of there so no big deal but uh like i said we're just dealing with that so maybe we can try to patch that up maybe um i'm gonna try to weld that i know i i know i gotta probably switch another handle out with it but let's just try to see if we can fix it by uh, putting a few tack welds on it and then we'll just go from there and see how it looks so uh, just gotta try to straighten it out so I'm gonna do that uh, real quick uh, while the I don't know the weather's looking kind of scarce right now we got a little bit of cloudage so we'll just see how that goes but anyway we'll just try to uh, see if we can fix that and she's looking pretty gnarly I like the bracket though. I like the uh, they tried to fix it, you know, with the bra that little bracket there. You know, it's kind of cool, but I mean, it's not gonna. If I'm gonna resell it, you know, it's not gonna be like that. We can't we can't have that. No, no, no. So, and then I guess the the original uh, little washer shoulder bolt is gone, so I we'll have to fix that as well. So, all right, well, let me get everything together here, and we'll try to fix that up. Okay, let's see uh, how bad this thing is before we start, uh, before I pull out my welder and all that. At least the knobs are not broke on these things. Have you, got, you guys come across these where half these things are broken off? Put this on there so I don't lose it. Okay, so this is on here. I can't find my. Um, usually, it's a half. I think on here to take this off and a nine sixteenths. Get this off. So. Probably have to put this back on, but I need this bracket out. Whatever bracket they put on here out of the way. if I could take this to my vise and bend this out and get the angle we need because it needs to be flat put this back on there somewhat 
I'm gonna try to bend this out. I'm not gonna bring you guys along with that one. See if I could fix that. And then we're gonna try to weld that. It's probably not gonna be a good weld, but it's gonna be enough to, to make it look better and mount on there. So let me go do that real quick. I'm gonna straighten this out. And I'll bring you guys back when I do that. Okay, so I'm gonna get this set up. This is what I'm gonna be using. I got a Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight flux welder there and I'm still new to welding so if you guys want to rip me in the comments about how I'm welding then you know feel free but this is how I'm gonna weld it I'm gonna make sure I put something over the top of it so it doesn't uh, shoot any sparks against the gas tank because I don't want to take the handle off so this is where I'm gonna go with it here I'm gonna put you guys right there so you guys can see me, you guys are out of the shade. Like I said, I don't, I don't see my, I don't, I'm not a professional welder. So if you guys are gonna, you guys could critique me, go right ahead and do it because you know, I didn't never say I was a professional on anything. There, but I do got gloves. And I do got a helmet I'm wearing there and I uh, already ground off the, where I'm gonna go at with it there so that's already done so all I gotta do is put my gloves on I got a helmet so I'm not gonna be going blind on this and then we're just gonna try to tack it the best we can on here like so See, I'll prove it to you guys right now. Gloves, and I got a helmet. Here, so. Let's get this where we're gonna need it to be. It's not gonna be perfect, and I'm not going for perfect. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Just gonna try to fix it where it'll hold. Can't guarantee it's gonna not gonna hold. But we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna go ahead, fire this up. Let's do some tack welds on it and see what it does. Would help if I put this on there, I had it on grinding. He's wearing Crocs while doing this. Yep, I am. Critique me. I don't care. Who said it was going to be perfect? Not me. Alright, 
Let me go ahead and turn it off. Open up, I ain't blind, you guys. Like I said, I'm not for not a professional welder, and I don't claim to be. Still got a gap right there. Fire in the hole. This is how I'm getting by getting it fixed. All right, we'll let that cool for a little bit. I'll bring you guys back and we'll see how that looks, okay? Bring you guys back all right had some time to uh, cool down this is what we're looking at here like I said we're not I'm not a professional paint uh, welder I don't tend to be so you know feel free to knock me out in the comment section below on it because you know what I'm not perfect I don't claim to be perfect I'm just a backyard mechanic I just try to get by what, what I can to get it fixed so guys out here so you guys can see it there let's see now here's the true test am I able to lift this up the only bad problem is this thing flexes so Now continue as moving on it. That's the that's the key on the situation. The only bad problem is part of that is, you know, I tried to tack it together the best I could. I mean she's on there. She's not like I said, perfect. Now is it gonna hold up over time? Probably not. But you know. The only problem is I don't have another handle to replace on this because I have an MTD handle that would, but the only problem is you got this situation. If the self propel wasn't set up like this, then we're, you know, it's a different situation. I can just switch the handle out and just call it a good day. But it's set up completely different that I don't think I can get away with that. And then you have to move all this stuff and it looks like you have to drill holes in this one to get this one to work. And I don't think I got handles that will work for that situation. I mean, I have one, I don't know. But yeah, it's just a lot of work to do to it. But that's why I was wanted to try to weld it first to see if it, you just gave it away with that. There's one way to find out if this thing works or not. Let's give it a true test. Let's mow this part of the yard here with it and then see what happens so uh let me get it set up and then uh we'll see if this thing cranks over too so that's the next best thing we gotta see if this thing runs all right let's see if it fires up it's auto choke so it should let me get a uh something to tie down the handle there real quick we'll try it out get one of my harbor freight clamps here 
see what it does. up is this this little nut and bolt thing shifts still that is as tight as I can go with it there's that little nut and bolt thing there it moves it and the other side they just put a makeshift nut and, and bolt right there they put actually a screw I don't know if you guys can see it right there they put it like a this little nut and and a, and a flat flat head screw right there for it so i don't know i mean it works is it the prettiest no but it holds the handle up and it's better than what what the spaghetti that was on it so i'm happy with it some people are probably not they're watching this but you no know, hey if you guys had the more you guys could have fixed it better yourself but this is the way i was doing it to try to get by with it so anyway i'm done so i'm gonna end this video right here all right guys i'm gonna end this video right here uh hope you guys enjoyed it uh like i said i don't put, i don't condone myself as a professional welder that was my first time welding and you guys actually got to see it because i was doing some welding off camera a long time ago back and i figured you know i got did i figured you guys bring you guys along for the ride and i'll show you guys this like i said is it perfect no i don't condone it to be perfect i just gotta try to find another way to rig this up and uh should be uh good to go uh there and uh get it ready to sell uh I'll just get some paint paint that up and make that look a little bit nicer and grind it down and all that and i just gotta clean it up and it should be ready for sale so uh let's put a new air filter in it i got another air filter i can throw in it there and uh that blade don't look like it needs to be sharpened so i think i'll just leave it alone so it cuts good and all that so 
I'm just gonna clean it off off camera and then I uh, it's gonna end it there so hoping up when by the time you guys see this video it'll probably be sold it is uh, July 24th at the filming of this video uh, here so I don't know when you guys are gonna see this exactly but um, yeah I'm uh, trying to get some more mowers out of here I gotta make some room because unfortunately I picked up some more uh, stuff and uh, picking up more stuff than I am getting rid of unfortunately but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up here check me out on Instagram on turning riches 85 uh, send me a re uh, request there and uh, if you guys are not a spammer I'll accept you there so anyway I'm gonna get out of here hope you guys enjoyed this video keep on turning those wrenches everybody I'll see you guys on the next video y'all take care